And the Z will be lacing up their sneakers in less than five weeks for the Via Marathon. They're finding out what that running isn't always the toughest part about training. Mark Shannonberger shows us some of the lifestyle changes he's found on his way to the finish line. Again. Who needs an alarm clock? These days, I'm out of bed before the buzzer. It's one of many ways marathon training has rocked my routine. It's more than just running four times a week. My reading material has changed, and I'm filling up my fridge more often. All I have is grapes left. I'm a big uh, plums and grapefruits, bananas guy, so all I got is grapes left, so I gotta get some more fruit. Grapefruit, bananas. You don't want to get them too yellow because I'm a single guy. And I got to eat all these bananas by myself. All good stuff, but there's temptation in every eye. Potato chips, stuff like that. It hasn't been hard to cut them out of my life. Okay, so maybe skipping the chips isn't that hard. But as for bulking up my bank account, that's a different story. And just for that, that little excursion, it cost me $55. I mean, usually I could go to the supermarket, I could grab what I need, and it would cost me like $20 a pop. Another change, suddenly my social calendar is sparse. No, I, I can't. I, I have to get up so early in the morning. Running and resting are my top priorities. We'll be holding on. So is trying to kick the fast food habit. Man, these are so good. You really gotta try a bite. Stephanie, do you have a first weather in Hey, Marathon Boy, fries. You want one? No, I don't. You sure? They're really good. Hey, Mark, Mark Shannonberger, you want fries? No. Oh, well, thanks. No, oh, doesn't eat fries. So, what's a guy supposed to do? Oh, well. I won't tell if you won't. Mark Shannonberger, 69 News.